Hello everybody, I am Brother Hosanna David. I am happy to come your way again this morning. I have a message to give to us from the Lord. Uh, actually, I wouldn't have passed this message to you, but I have discovered that there are things that uh, when they happen in the church, the devil tried to use them against the children of God. Or uh, whenever there is an argument in the church, Whenever Christians disagree on certain principles or teachings, doctrines in the church, the devil tries to take advantage of God's children and set his own fire of confusion in the church. It is about the argument about tithe. Pain of tithe. Is tithing still a law that is binding on Christians? There, this is what the Lord revealed to me. Uh, before I tell you what God told me, I want to tell you a little background about myself. I grew up in Christ Apostolic Church, and while I was still a kid, a little boy, my mom taught me how to pay my tithe. Even when I was in primary school, I was not working, but if anybody gives, whenever I was given any money, I tried to remove my tithe and pay my tithe. Even when I grew up, I grew up with this mindset that I should be paying my tithes. So I was paying my tithes regularly and faithfully as the Lord helped me. Then even as I grew up to adulthood, even to date, I still pay my tithes. But there arose a lot of arguments about payment of tithes. So ministers said it is not good to pay tithes and some others said if it is a law, if you don't pay your tithes, God is going to dry up your heaven and you, your life will become miserable. You won't get blessings from the Lord. So there are lots of arguments about the payment of tithes. And this year, 2018, I traveled to visit a friend. And while I was in the parlor and waiting for him, he was doing some things inside. So I fell asleep. I slept. I looked at the the place he was, everywhere was dry, his house was dry, the, well, there was really dryness in the house. So I heard the voice of God told me, tell him to be paying his tithes, tell him to give. If he start giving to the work of God, everything is going to be okay with him. This financial dryness will disappear. So. It was an opportunity for me to ask God because even me, I was becoming confused about the teaching, the doctrine about payment of tithes. So I quickly used the opportunity to ask God. I said, God, okay, people say payment of tithes is no longer a law that Christians don't supposed to pay tithes. Okay, why are you asking me to tell this man to pay his tithes and also give to support your work? And God told me, yes, payment of tithes, tithes is no longer a law binding on Christians. That it is not a law, but now it is based on love. It is not a law, but love for God. That God told me, if you love me, you would support my word. Not because it is a law, if you don't do it, I will kill you or I will do something bad against you. But because you love me and you just give to support the work of my kingdom. And this is why I want to pass this message to us. A lot of Christians have seized this doctrine, this teaching as a yardstick for them not to give to the work of God. I know that there are many ministers who are criminals. Yes, there are ministers who are criminals who take this money and uh, spend it anyhow. They don't care about the poor, they don't care about the ministry. They, instead of preaching and, and, and doing evangelism, they go into advert, advertisement. It is the, many of these big churches and some of the small churches, their focus is not to make people go to heaven. Their focus is not about raising disciples for Jesus Christ, but raising fans. And if you see the kind of luxurious life they live, you will quickly give up paying your tithe and giving to support the work of God. But I tell you, everything is not like that. 
The real kingdom, the real message of the kingdom is suffering. I, okay, look at a lot of pastors who preach the truth. Many of them are not so rich. The need of money to further spread the word of God. But many of them are not rich. But look at us, prosperity. Men of God, those who are turning the church upside down. Look at your ministries everywhere. It's glorious. Money is flowing everywhere. The dollars are flowing. So what I'm, I'm telling you is this. The fact that some people are abusing church offering and money does not mean that the kingdom of God must die. I had a revelation recently. I saw a man, he wore gold and he would ostentatious, ostentatious goods. He, he, he looked so luxurious and he was sitting, it was like either in a plane or uh, in a very luxurious car. It, it has a lot of space and he alone was sitting down there. He looked like some of these uh, rich musicians. And when I saw him, he sat and he was just there and God told me, you see, this, this is a man of God. He looks like a criminal. And this is how I see many of those prosperity preachers. He looks like a criminal and that is what he is. Don't follow these people. When I look, don't jealous them because you, when people look at them, they see them as powerful men of God, as rich and powerful men of God. But when I see them, me God, when I see them, I see criminals, like real criminals. Don't behave like them. So even God himself is not happy with us people who milk the people and turn the world upside down and preach prosperity messages and send people to hell at last. Fly private jets everywhere. But I tell you, tithing is no longer a law, but God told me it is love. If you love God, give to God. Not because you want to fulfill the law, but because you want to please God by showing Him love. Support the work of God. If you know any way you can support the work of God, please support the work of God. If you see a lot of these street preachers who preach the true gospel of Jesus Christ, some of those small, small ministries, I mean, when I mean small, I don't mean in a spiritual sense, but ministries who struggle and you know they preach the truth. You support them. Why not support the kingdom of God? Do your best because everything we do here on earth, we are going to give account. Look at uh, 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 Islamic movement. They have so much money, they don't complain about giving because they, they have so much money. Look at the jihadists. Look at the suicide bombers. Some of, so many of them, they will have been paid. They deposit money into the back account of their families and they go and die. Believing that they are fighting for Allah. Why don't we support the kingdom of God? Do your best because we will soon leave. We will soon leave. We support ministries who print uh, uh, free messages, who make their things free of charge, and you know they are preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Don't let the work of God suffer. I just want to clear the air. This is what the Lord has told me. If you have any argument, you have any doubt, instead of arguing, why don't you pray if you are a child of God? God being gracious enough, He will speak to you too. Visit my website, egoeyeopener.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.